You know what I find really interesting, like the conversation around rejection. I believe that we've all got the fear of being rejected. Mm -hmm. And I think it comes from, you know, the small incidences of rejection we have as a child. And it kind of builds on that and almost snowballs. What's your relationship like with rejection? As you said, that everyone has gone through rejection. But when I think about it now, I just don't think it's optional. Like when it comes to life, like you will get rejected at some point. And because I'm an author, because I've gone through that process, like I don't know a single author who hasn't got rejected. I remember the day, like the day itself that I got 20 rejections and the rejection letter from my agent at the time was ended with, don't worry, there's still self-publishing and we hadn't even finished the first round of submissions and I just cried. I cried the whole day. I was dating someone at the time and I remember he said, now's not the time to give up, now's the time to push harder. So literally like that night I dropped my agency and found a new agency within 24 hours and got a book deal within a month. So I actually used that rejection in order to empower me. But in terms of like every other aspect of my career, there have been moments where I've asked someone to come on my podcast and they've rejected me or whatever it is, but I would rather ask and get a no. And you have to keep in your mind that the worst thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna get a no. And yes, it might hurt. Yes, you might cry. But the next day you wake up and you go even harder. And I've always kept that sentence in my head. Now's not the time to give up. Now's the time to push harder. Most of us experience it almost every day. It's just a normal part of life and yeah. you can't let it hold you back and you can't base your validation how you feel about yourself and your your self-worth on what other people say and think because that's so damaging that has to come internally but also it's not just careers a lot of my friends that I've made in adulthood have literally been me sending a text being like hey do you want to go for coffee and um, usually everyone says yes whether they actually follow through on it is a different question but like even if they don't follow through on it even if they do just say like no or just blank the text at least they've asked like and what harm is it in asking and then I think the problem is that when you have that moment of rejection you make up this entire story in your head about like oh they're gonna think I'm so weird they're gonna like they clearly don't like me no maybe they're just busy like why you choose the worst version of events why you choose the worst a story in your head to believe or even like in dating life a lot of people get scared about asking someone out but the worst thing that's going to happen is they're just going to say no mm. and then you move on and you find someone else but if you're going to focus on that one rejection it will derail your life and if you let that one rejection dictate how many opportunities you go for in the future then you're only going to have a list of regrets of things that you wish you'd done you know we've all been stood up by friends and we've had friends flake on us at the last minute and the instant reaction is to kind of be a little bit annoyed about that but I think it's we'll important take it personally. to yeah but it's important to try and understand you know what could be going on for that person I say this quite a lot and it like it can be misinterpreted but I think we're all quite um, arrogant in the fact that we always think it's about us when sometimes it's just not about you mm -hmm. like it could be because they have anxiety and they don't know how like they are so worried about meeting a completely new person that they've never met before like you don't know or maybe like when it comes to dating they don't think they're good enough for you so they've not said yes because they're worried that if you go on the date together and like you might have been texting for like weeks but if they actually go on a date like they won't live up to the expectation of who they were over text so michelle where can people follow you if they want to find out more so i'm on scarred not scared on instagram twitter um and tiktok and i am at michelle elman on facebook and youtube we hope you had as much fun watching this as we did filming it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to Michelle's channel. The links are going to be somewhere on the screen or down below. And if you are affected by any of the issues we spoke about in this video today, head to ditchthelabel.org for help and support.